happy Sabbath and welcome back to our online discussion. Today we will be talking about technology, so it will be very interesting. What do you guys think the issue on technology is today? I think the issue on technology is the fact that uh, most kids, teenagers, and even adults spend too much time in the technology. They spend too much time using it, either playing games, doing a lot of homework, or um, watching videos or something that it keeps them away from doing other things. Yeah, it's like the main like the main issue is like it's a distraction. Like the main impact is a distraction part. Yeah. But it could also be used for non like non like like productive things. It has its benefits, it but it benefits, but also has its like that. It it's can like be very cons. distracting. It can be. No, I agree. Um, although it does have its benefits. I think it has made us a little bit, in the sense, uh, I want to use the word lazy. I was thinking of that word Because it, it, it shortened our attention span. So I think it has shortened our attention, attention span. And if you look now, um, I feel like people read less, you know. Um, technology has made us more in the, let's see what TV shows on, let's see what movies on, instead of like, let me pick up a good book and learn a new habit. Or a new skill. <laughs> also, because, like, I don't want to, like, make this sound like a bad thing. But I feel like something that also contributes to that fact is that also today there's audiobooks that, like, you can, like, instead of reading, you can listen to it. Like, it's good just in case, like, you're, like, you can't really, like, see that well. But, um, but, like, if you can read, like, it's, it's probably better like, to read. No, I agree. Reading is way better than actually listening to audiobooks because... When you read, you might interpret something different than if someone read it to you. Exactly. Not just that, but like when you read it yourself, you can imagine like go through the story differently. You know. Yeah, I I personally prefer reading it myself than hearing <laughs> someone reading it. <laughs> yeah. To me. Yeah. Me too. So I get distracted. I, I would get distracted, or not just distracted, but I'd probably like fall asleep or something. Yeah. Me you too. know. <laughs> No, I agree. I mean, and there are really good people. I mean, people that read audiobooks, like, some of them are very interesting. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But that's more for when someone's, like, when you're reading, like, a, maybe, like, a fiction book or something like that. Yeah, that'd be good. But when you're reading something to, like, um, for educational purposes or to learn, like, a new skill or something, preferably, I think, just in general, it's better to read, like, yourself. You know, you practice the habit of reading. Um, your vocabulary gets a little bit bigger. Um, it does. <laughs> yeah, no, it does. I mean, and, and the more you practice it, the better it is. I, I feel like if you don't read as much, uh, you won't be able to, like, you'll get tired sooner when you read. Yeah, you will. Yeah. Like, you have to, like, start reading, like, at a certain point and then continue that habit to, like, and then, like, try to, like, make more, um, like, I guess, increase that habit to, like, if you want to read, like, 30 pages one day, like, read, like, 40, 45 pages like the next and like let's not let's not look at it that way also I mean I think yeah I mean there is some negative aspects to technology in the sense of like it gets distracted and we don't spend as much time outside which I think uh, has increased over the years uh, but it also has its good things um, for example the same thing like an iPad you can use it to just watch Netflix all day That's true. or you can use it to read like pdf books or you can take notes in class you know no yeah, yeah so no. um sorry no, 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 no. sorry um just like you're saying like it has its benefits but it's it's more like are you willing to dedicate your time to do to use the technology to like gain from it or are you gonna use it to like, waste what well, it's a double-edged sword yeah you know? I mean, yeah take this for example i mean we're using technology right now to Very talk true. about God. Yeah. You know? But the exact same devices that we're using to, to talk about God, we could use it to maybe just watch funny memes all day or maybe just watch funny videos that bring us no benefit at all. Exactly. So, I mean, it, it could either be something that could, like, be used as a distraction, a distraction <laughs> or a negative thing or you can use it to gain grow, knowledge gain knowledge and grow yourself like both um spiritually mentally you know uh even people like i know right now there's people doing uh 
workout videos. You know, like they'll teach, like they'll do workout videos for those that since we can't meet at, meet at gyms. You know, you can always go in and see a trainer teaching like a routine. Yeah, and the nice thing about technology is that it has so much information that you can just search it up and find it. Yeah. So I mean, there is there is a negative and good aspect to it. So I mean, like I said, it's what are you willing to, to do use it to for? do it? Yeah. Like no. they're both equally as strong. Just yeah. Mm-hmm. You gotta, it's all about it willpower. Depends. Yeah, it's all about yeah, willpower, it can, honestly. It can get tempting to just get lost in technology and not use it for good, but instead of being lazy and whatnot. Yeah, like, let's say you're working on something, like, a homework or something, and then you're, like, you're on it, and you're, like, you know what, I'm going to take a break. Yeah. And you start watching videos or, From like, the device. Just, and like just, technology yeah. works so fast, so you can be doing your homework one second, and the next, you're, like, wait. I kind of want to something. Or something. Yeah. But that's where you have to make the constant decision mm. to say, I am not going to let it distract me or hinder my growth. And if you, like, do end up, like, saying, oh, I'm going to do this for a little while, like, don't just stick to it for the rest of the day. Like, time, like, put a time limit, you know? Yeah. No, and like I said, like, it has both good and bad. Like, let's say, for example, um, Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, you know, they are things that before in phones in general, like before you have to send a letter, you know, oh, yeah. like I think a, letters are kind of nice. Well, like, they are, yeah. but they take like a month or more to get yeah. to where we need to go. Yeah. So. And it depends on the handwriting too. <laughs> well, that too. Mm-hmm. But then like yeah. you, the creation of Facebook was made and it was a way for people to get in contact, you know, like people that didn't live close. Let's get a friend that moved away. You can keep in contact with them, right? And they just grew, you know, and it grew so much because everyone started using it. Why? Because it was, it was used to communicate. It was used to post pictures, you know. But you can also lose yourself in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, there's also dangers that come with it. Oh yeah, yeah so you yeah. have to be careful. So yeah. You know, like I remember in in high school, um, one of my teachers showed me a picture like a. Uh, picture like the world like the world map and he's like guys this is not a picture of the world it's a picture of um the connections in facebook that everyone has that's crazy yeah it is and it looked like a picture of like the whole world well that's because the whole world is pretty much connected i mean i think it's hard to find and don't get me wrong there is probably places that does not have the best internet connection but with technology now it's it's hard to not find a place in the world you know so so you are connected. We are all connected through technology now. Yeah. So the issue today was a lot. <laughs> yeah, was a lot. <laughs> so we all love and benefit from technology, of course. Um, the latest devices and gadgets add a sense of luxury and excitement to life. The internet, smartphones, game consoles, etc., each have their part in how technology has impacted our culture and our lives. Technology has many benefits and is a good thing. After all, God created it. (laughs) Yet, if we are not careful, it can be easy to become tangled in the web of technology, which, of course, we mentioned. Um, So what does the Bible say? Um, What does it have to say about technology? Um, If we can turn to Deuteronomy 6, 10 to 12. Deuteronomy 6, 10 to 12, right? Yes. It says, The Lord your God will soon bring you into the land he swore to give you when he made a vow to your ancestors Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It is a land with large, prosperous cities that you did, you did not build. The houses will be richly stocked with goods you did not produce. You will draw water from cisterns you did not dig, and you will eat from vineyard vineyards and olive trees you did not plant when you have eaten your fill in this land be careful not to forget the lord who rescued you from slavery in the land of egypt that is actually very interesting because yeah. the way we were looking at it i mean at least we we're looking at it in the sense of like phones and and internet you know but we forget that cars are technology too and they are and and they've grown more in technology and looking at it in the sense of uh biblically any any piece of mechanical mechanical is technology you know 
it, it was technology is meant to make our life easier you know you can like they said you can harvest more you know and stuff so it I guess it is good uh, I think it's, we should not abuse it mm-hmm. and, and not like, forget mm-hmm. about yeah. God like, yeah. like it said here like how the verse said don't forget about God I think we can get lost in all the blessings that we receive and mm-hmm. that make our life easier but it just like he reminded the people that he got them out of slavery um, he wants us who he, well he got us out of like hard work <laughs> I guess now we ha- our situations are much more easier um, so yeah it can we can get lost with all our blessings with phones cars and everything that we forget about God yeah that's true that's true and we also gotta keep in mind I mean uh, it's hard to to tie technology to stuff like mechanical stuff you know because yeah. yeah. I mean at least in our minds in mine is you think technology and you think the newest iPhone, the newest computer, you know, and it has and it has to do with uh, internet or like a new like devices uh, device or, or like gaming system or like uh what's it called? Um the little like things that fly, what's it called? The drones? Like the drones. <laughs> the drones. <laughs> the drones. <laughs> like drones and stuff, which is it's, it's, it's hardware drones. but it has more of a I guess it's still like a range, you know, Bluetooth kind of mm-hmm. thing. So that's what we, like, at least I think of it in that way. And that, where he says, like, don't forget about God, that could still be applied with, like, the technology we have right now. Because, I mean, there is a Bible app. There is. You know? And, I mean, do we actually look at it? Because we technically have every version of the Bible in that Bible app. Mm-hmm. You know? Personally, I like reading more in, like, the actual cover? book yeah. Bible, you know? But, I mean, we do have that. And we can use it to spread God's message. So it's like, are we using it for, for the honor and glory of God or not? You know, have we forgotten about have we forgotten about God with all the technology? Or has technology made us um, focus more on God? I think it's interesting how you point out about the Bible app. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of us have the app. But like no, how many, of, how many of us use it? Like I feel if if uh, if the app could dust like books on shelves, like would it be kind of like that? I think. Well, okay, my personal experience, I do have the Bible app, uh, in both my phone and iPad. Mm-hmm. I don't use it as much because I prefer reading like the book, like the actual like physical book. Uh, the only times I actually use the app uh, is when I'm going to use it to maybe um, look it up in different versions. Like, look at a specific version. See, versions. and, like, the benefit about having it in in the iPhone is that due to, because of technology, we have the ability, like, we're able to look at all these different versions whenever we want, you know? It's true. I mean, I use it more as a... Like if we're not, if I don't have it with, if I don't have my, Bible, I'm not carrying my Bible with me. Yeah, and, and that's when it, it, and that's what it's beneficial for. Yeah, that's when it mostly like mainly comes in handy when you don't have your Bible and you're somewhere, but like. I really like to use it. Um, like I use the Bible app often, in the sense of like, um, when I want to highlight a verse, like I don't like highlighting on the actual like Bible. I like highlighting on the on the um, on the app because it'll show you like the it'll show you the highlighted verses. And like it's just nice, to like as like, so like I don't have to like mess up like the um, like or like kind of like color like that like a coloring sense. book yeah. mm-hmm. thing. It's like I can just like if I want to ever take off the highlight, I can just take it off. But like I use I rarely do that. Like I actually never do that. So <laughs> 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 like I have like a whole bunch of highlights on my Bible app. Yeah. What's the next one? So the next verse is found in Psalms one hundred and one verses two to four. Okay. 101 mm-hmm. 2 to 4 and it says Psalms 101 verses 2 and 4 says I will be careful to live a blameless life when will you come to help me I will lead a life of integrity in my own home I will refuse to look at anything vile and vulgar I hate all who deal crookedly 
I will have nothing to do with them. I will reject perverse ideas and stay away from every evil. What do you guys understand from that? I think it's uh, mainly trying to say that I won't go look at bad stuff or like bad sites because it says uh, I'll refuse to look at anything vile or vulgar. So mainly like yeah. don't go into anything bad. Yeah, I think uh, I mean it doesn't talk it doesn't say technology here. Yeah. But I do think it's referring to it can be applied. It can be applied because technology. technology, like I said, it connects us everywhere mm -hmm. and with a couple like tap on keys, mm -hmm. you can literally find anything. Yeah, anything. You know? Sure. Uh so I guess this is more like still have your values, you know? Yeah. Have uh live your life the way God wants you to live and don't be looking at sites that you shouldn't be looking at. Or doing things you shouldn't be doing. Or doing mm -hmm. things you shouldn't be doing. Because they're easy to go to. Yeah, I think it's interesting how they mention integrity because usually, like, um, any technological advice, uh, device that you're using, um, it's, it's, like, yours, and nobody else can really see it. So, like, you have to maintain your integrity and don't, don't fall into any temptations of doing anything bad or looking at anything bad. Like, keep your own integrity with God and with yourself and with everyone around you. Yeah, and I totally agree because, like, like we said, now we have anything we want to search up. If you want to find how to build a mic stand, if you want to know how to <laughs> make... Yeah, like, if you want to know literally how to make anything, if you want to know how to make a cake or cook a certain something... Or if you want to know how to solve a homework problem. Exactly. You know? like it's That's dangerous. Like, Integrity. How to solve, how to solve no, a problem. No, like there's a lot of cheating that can go on online. Well, I meant more cool. in the sense of like, you need help on how to like... Learn oh, how to learn how to like, uh, I mean, like, there's yeah. a lot of websites, like, <laughs> That's also a double edged sword. But like, also, that is maintain also. your integrity. Because I'm in, like, Khan Academy. Everything. Yeah, like, Khan Academy. Like, you can get videos to, like, help that you out with homework. You. That yeah. tutors you. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. there's things that you can use to cheat, but... I mean, it depends and on I think there's actually uh, I was I think I saw a commercial for uh, people who are trying to learn English. Oh yeah, you know? there's an app for that. Well, no, and I'm talking about like no, 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 not Duolingo. <laughs> no, no, there's also a website. It's things. more like if you speak English, you can work on your part as a part time teaching teaching English to be kids from other countries. That's cool. So like they, I think I think they log on with you. In South Lake, there's like mm -hmm. different kinds of things, you know? You wouldn't have to know their language, would you? No, like <laughs> basically like you, you log on to like just talk to them, you know? And I think it's like an hour and they pay you like a certain amount. So like, I mean, that's I something know. that technology, really, like it's really good. Like you yeah, get to talk, cool. like if you're trying to learn a new language and someone knows that language, you get to like converse with them that language. And help them. And help, and help them, you mm -hmm. know? Or like you learn that language you know? yeah mm -hmm. so i think that's kind of cool and, and that's what i'm referring to like it can be used for anything you can search up how to like pretty much we've searched up all these things on youtube on how to like i think you try to make a cake and i've searched how to make peanut butter you know <laughs> so <laughs> i mean we use it a lot for like cooking how but do you make pancakes <laughs> how to make pancakes yeah. you know <laughs> So, I mean, you we'll can really find, yeah. like, besides study. food, like, there's also, like, mechanics out there yeah. that post stuff on how to, like, fix your, like, mm -hmm. car, yeah. you know, or how to do certain things. Or how to build, like, a fort. Yeah. That's fort. cool, right? Building or, like, fort. exercise plans. Oh, exercise yeah, plans workouts. Too. Yeah, workouts that, like, everyone's different, so they all post their own different things, but mm -hmm. sometimes, like, what helps you? There's actually, I saw, I saw a post, and I'm telling you, like, a couple years back, of this lady that she built her house from scratch using YouTube videos. Wow. Yeah. wow. So like she went on YouTube and started like, like I need to yeah. add this to my house. And she would look at how to connect mm -hmm. it and everything. And she like, I think she took out a loan from her, like from the bank and like bought all the materials and she did it by herself. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's, so that's, like, that's really impressive. That so, is very impressive. But she's like, yeah, I basically looked up on tutorials on how to do stuff. And I was like, I, I want this in my house. And she would like, build it or connect it or something you know <laughs> like yeah. that's a lot of work that but props to her work. you know yeah, yeah it's really Definitely. dedication yeah that too so the next verse is found in psalms 141 verse 4 141 
first one? Yes. yes. Oh. Don't let me drift toward evil or take part in acts of wickedness. Don't let me share in the delic delicacies of those who do wrong. I think I read that word wrong, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think that goes back to what we're talking about in the yeah. sense of like, yeah. you can find anything in, in a few seconds. In a few seconds, yeah. Yeah, like it's all in your hands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't get distracted with that or tempted or whatever. Yeah, because you could easily fall into that with yeah. Th with yeah, technology. Just keep your integrity. Honestly, that's what it comes down to. And I think there's also been like a lot of cases of like people that go to places, websites that should they shouldn't be going to, mm -hmm. and then they're like being stalked by weird people, you know. And so it's dangerous. I thought that it's immoral. Like you shouldn't be doing it. Mm -hmm. It's also dangerous to do stuff like that. So. Yeah. You never know what's on there, what could happen. Or who's, on, who's, or who's, on, who's on the other side. Who's on the other side, exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's the scariest part. Anyone can pretend to be anyone else. Yeah. Or make your own persona, I guess. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, and the last verse is found in Matthew 6, 21, um, which I will read right now. It says, Where, wherever your treasure is, there the desires of your heart will also be. What are your thoughts on that? <laughs> <laughs> Wherever your treasure is? Mm -hmm. Can you read it? Wherever your treasure is, there the desires of your heart will also be. Hmm. Huh, that's... <laughs> that... I don't like... That makes me like feel like of... Like, feel like... It's kind of like when you go into like, the career path, it's like, if you really want to be like something, like you're gonna like desire to like be determined to like keep in that track. I don't know, that's what it made me think of like, or like if you really wanna get something done, like you're gonna like try everything to like actually get that thing done. Like not just like with career path, but like if, with anything. Like as long as you like dedicate it or like you have the, like, it, cause the most important part is like having the will, like the, the will to do it. Mm -hmm. I was, I, that's good I like it but I was thinking more in the sense of like so if you're like if you have God in first place you know you will use your gifts and your skills and the stuff that's around you to want and glory him yes mm -hmm. you know but if he's not then stuff like technology can also be used like you won't, you won't use it to glorify him maybe you yourself mm -hmm. yes. possibly yeah shouldn't be done yeah, so I mean, it all depends on how, like, what is more important to you, and that's what you're going to be in the end up putting all your efforts and focus into. Mm -hmm. That's what the way I perso perceived it. I don't know if you guys perceived it differently. No, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. I agree. It's, it's a very good analysis. Kind of <laughs> yeah. That was really good. So, I mean, that's, that's <laughs> basically what I just said. I mean, it's a little, I think, complicated to, like, tie it mm -hmm. into what we're talking about because it uses words like treasures and desires, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I, if, I, if you sit down and analyze it, I think at least that's what, I, what I, I understood. And that brings us to a really good point, which means when you read the Bible, um, you should always ask God for guidance, mm -hmm. you know? Oh, exactly. Yeah. And to help you understand what he wants to tell you. You know, because I could read that verse and understand one thing, because that's what God wants to tell me. And but someone else could read it and understand yeah, another. And you or Alexis or 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 Lou could totally understand something different yeah, because God's trying approach. to tell you something different than what he's trying to tell me. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's all and that's where it also it goes into like reading is better than listening. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so if you read it like it's a better way of like the message giving like what you understand and what God wants you to understand. But just remember you always gotta ask God to help you understand and to Help you understand what he's trying to tell you. Mm -hmm. Exactly, because so. like it all came from it all came from him. Like even though there was prophets who wrote it, like they're they're writing what God was telling them to write. So yeah. that's why we gotta ask for the Holy Spirit to uh, help us understand what God wants us to understand. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So what should we do in regards with all of this? Um, when we determine to honor the Lord with technology, endless possibilities present themselves. For bringing Christ glory and expanding his kingdom of course we are able to reach 
a lot of people through technology, like how we are hopefully <laughs> doing right now. Hopefully. <laughs> um, however, when we allow technology to rule our lives, sin creeps in and much time and money is wasted. I do want to ruin parentheses. Um, we hope we're reaching a lot of you guys through this message and that God, uh, I mean, this offer for God, but um, if you're watching this, it's, it's no accident, you know? Um, God put it in your hands. It's not because of us, nothing because of us. It's, it's all God, that one that puts us in different places and different times. So technology, if you're watching this video, it's not an accident. You're, you're watching it for a reason. Yes. So um, the way uh, afterwards where it said sin creeps in and much time and money is wasted, it's back to the verses we were talking about of the perverse thinking and the perverse, like doing all these vile and cruel things um, on the internet, which we shouldn't be doing, of course, because it keeps our mind away from God and all this money and time is wasted when our ultimate goal is to live in, with Jesus Christ. And of course, that can be a part of our lives. So let's evaluate how technology impacts our lives. Um, we have some questions here that um, will also be for you guys to ask yourselves and <laughs> answer honestly because this will help you interpret um, the way you're living and how you should be living and what you do to fix. So first of all, is the use of technology ever a way you attempt to escape the real world? What are your thoughts on that question? Can you again? Is the use of technology ever a way to attempt to escape the real world? Yes. I think people do use it to escape the real world. Um, and that's very dangerous. Mm -hmm. You know? And that's where I think addiction comes in the sense of anything else. Like it could be to games, to movies, to TV yeah. shows. It's you trying to escape. You know? And... It's something that you should ask God to help you with, I think. Yeah. I think a lot of people use technology to escape the real world. Yeah, es especially since technology consists of so many things that yeah. you can find an escape there through all those things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see also, like, I want to put it, like, in the greater point of view, kind of like in the case when you're studying or when you're doing homework. Like, I guess... I was taking a different approach not about the, like escaping the world but like if you're like doing something intensely and you need a break it's kind of like um I guess the good time distraction like not a good time but like like you know what I mean like like the good like the right time to have a distraction so you can get back on task yeah or maybe you're just having relax. a hard time and you want to escape it and you're like well I, I need to hear some motivation I need exactly. to hear something about Jesus and cause I mean, they can always bring it up, so escape what we're dealing with right now, praying mm -hmm. about it, and looking at some for someone with advice, um, with an attachment with the Bible, and whatnot. Yeah, that's where the double-edged sword comes in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that that uh, similarity can be applied to, like, everything. It, it, it really can. It really can. Because it it's can be good or for bad. Yeah. You choose what you use it for. So we got to make the right choice. Mm. Integrity. Integrity. <laughs> if you haven't watched integrity. our previous video, it's about integrity, guys. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go check it out. Yeah. Please go check that out. Um, okay, so the second question is um, one that a lot of people will have to reflect on. And so it's Does your life revolve around the internet, gaming, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, etc.? Like, is that what your life revolves around? I think... Well, go ahead. <laughs> no, you can... I was going to say, that is that is a question that you have to basically analyze your own personal life. Mm -hmm. um, I know that for me, honestly, I sometimes do get distracted too much in what is Instagram or Facebook, you know? Um, but it's something that it's you have to work for, work on, you know? Uh, even though Facebook can be great, I know a lot of churches are transmitting live through mm -hmm. Facebook. Um, make sure you're there to actually, like, receive for a good reason. Receive the not, word of God. Receive the word of God. Or not and an <laughs> yeah. But don't, don't, don't be on Facebook for a chisme, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah. Chisme means gossip, guys. So yeah. <laughs> it's a Spanish version of gossip. But like, don't be there for chisme, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, like, oh, look what so-and-so is doing. Or look what so-and-so is doing. No, like, if you're there, we like to catch up with people, you know? And don't get sucked into it, you know? So No, yeah. Like, the other thing is that I think especially students, now that technology is really evolving, and especially in these times, they really do revolve around technology because of all the work they need to do and how they do it because of technology. Well, actually, that's that's how technology is good. And I just, yeah. right now, at this moment, we're p- having, we're having like online classes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because we can't meet physically. If, t- if this technology did not exist where we could actually have online classes, everything would probably... The world would kind of like, oh, it's not the world, I mean, like at least the student life the student education life would be at a halt yeah. It was, yeah yeah like it would be like you have to wait a year maybe like two not repeat know. a year but like you finish know, continue yeah like, to finish you start you have yeah. to wait a year or like two like off you know, a year actually yeah. so I mean I know there's it's it's very beneficial you yeah know? it is um, in these times it is very beneficial but you also gotta make sure you're actually doing what you need to be doing and not doing other things and not doing yeah, be responsible with your time mm-hmm. yes time mm-hmm. is money <laughs> <laughs> okay so again this last question I don't know if you guys want to answer it out loud um, it's definitely one to reflect on personally uh, it says are important areas of your life being neglected because of technology um, for example family friends worship God is that something you guys want to talk about or you guys prefer to keep it within yourself is it, is it asking how it can affect family worship and stuff, or well, if it's person, is, or is it, or is it saying how it personally affects us? I think it's asking like personally, but we can switch it to how it can affect, and everyone else can answer and reflect. Yeah, I mean, we yeah. can talk about it that way. Um, it it really can affect mm-hmm. um, families. I think relationships, relationships in general. Relationships family, family, oh yeah, friends. I mean, you stop. You get sucked into the technology that you stop. Um, paying attention to the people around you, but the people within your phone, or yeah. maybe not. True. So and, I mean, oh, sorry. and I've heard people say like, "Well, um, we hanged out, but did we really? Everyone, did we really hang out? Mm-hmm. Like, and I've seen these memes all over the place where like it's like, "Hey, we're all hanging out," and it's like four little girls like hang out in a couch and they're on their phone they're not even talking to each yeah. other yeah or like when you go that out that really... to eat with someone or like with your friends and, then and everyone's just on their phone, phone. that's so not it's cool it's like what are you doing I'm right here there's actually a very funny post out there and I'm pretty sure everyone's seen these where like it's like a coffee shop and they say like there's no wifi don't ask for the password like pretend it's 1969 <laughs> <laughs> talk to each other you know yeah, because, so, like, when you go you when you go into a coffee shop and, like, you see everyone on the phone, it's like, seriously, like, you have people around you, like, yeah, and it's you don't have to be on your phone. And it's not even, sometimes it's not even that, like, sometimes I think t- we've gotten to a point where we don't want to be social because, have you ever heard of people that just, like, put on their air fo- like uh, earphones, but they're not even listening to anything? They just yeah. put them on yeah. not to so I, I yeah. don't understand that. Thing That's ever. rude. <laughs> other people do that actually like really yeah like mm, almost a year ago to be honest like i didn't know people did that like it's but they put them on that's kind of messed so up so they won't be bothered <laughs> it's messed up yeah like you know because i mean you see if you see someone with headphones you're really not gonna you're not gonna go up like yeah. oh like i understand you're in your zone wanna. but no. <laughs> but no they just they just yeah. it's like it's like wait you you're wearing them and you're not even listening to anything. Yeah. Like you're aware of your surroundings. Yeah. You just warn them so they won't bother you. It's like it's I don't understand that. You know. It's kind of sad. It is a little sad. It, it has secluded us. What's yeah. also sad is like, like back then, like we used to like people would hang out and like they would all be on their phones. And like now it's sad because like now we can't like hang out because of this like so, so social distancing. Mm-hmm. So like now it's like, now like we had the opportunity to hang out and now we can't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think we should all uh, reflect um, on these three questions. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Oh, oh yeah. Like, definitely. What, how are we doing, like, personally, like, really with other people? If you actually want to, like, we encourage you to look at these questions and answer them yourself. Um, so we're going to write them down in the comment section below uh, in the description. So we're going to write them down there. You can look at them and answer them yourself. If you want to share with us uh, in the comments, feel free. You don't have to, but we do encourage you to look at them 
and ask them to yourself to see how technology is affecting your life. Is it being for a benefit or is it being something that's affecting your life and hindering it? Mm -hmm. So um, it says, if you answered yes to any of these, consider the price you are paying. If wasting hours upon hours and neglecting loved ones, is it really worth it? What changes, what changes does God want you to make regarding your use of technology? So of course, technology can be used as a distraction. Um, it can hinder your relationship with your family, with your friends, and above all, with God, which is very dangerous. So we should all be careful with how we use technology and that we don't abuse it and that we respect others and yeah keep our integrity when it comes to technology because that can also be very dangerous especially with the people that we communicate to yeah and i think it's it's funny how i think bullying before was like a kid, a kid pushing you in the in the playground but now <laughs> <laughs> But now bullying has become cyber. Yeah. 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 Which means like, I'm not sure how that works. <laughs> like, but I guess I like they know. just like talk bad about you, know. you know? I don't know. And spread rumors. And spread rumors, yeah. Yeah, which rumors is dangerous spread. because since everyone's connected, I mean, that means you're affecting someone's life. They'll spread wildfire. Yeah. So I mean, you're ruining another person's. Make sure you're you're the what, what you're doing. Remember, like uh, like we talked about uh, yesterday in Vespers, like words can hurt. Oh yeah. You know, and they can they can really really affect someone's life. You know, mm -hmm. it can. So be careful what you say or write on the internet. You know, yeah. you don't want to be responsible for affecting someone's life in a bad way. And don't use technology in a bad way. Like, also mm -hmm. once you put it out there, like it's there forever. Oh yeah. You can't take it back. Yeah, you could probably delete it, but by but then... But it was already there. Everyone's already seen it. Or shared it. Or people have probably shared it, screenshotted it, whatever. whatever Things spread case. fast. Back to what you were saying about the words, like, it's... The power like the power of the words is, like, really interesting because, like, if you see something bad to it, because, like, when you put it in, in the sense of, like, your brain is, like, a supercomputer, and what you say, like... Uh, it's basically like the program to like what your mind can do. So like if you tell someone like something bad, that can get registered into their brain and like mm -hmm. it can affect them really bad. It does. It does. Yeah. So yeah, I mean I think that's pretty much what we're going to say, right? Yes. Thank you so much, guys, for coming into our Sabbath discussion about technology. I hope you guys found this very interesting um, and very. Um, Helpful. Helpful. Yes, that's the word. So definitely don't forget to reflect on these last three questions. I think they were the most important ones um, and the most important thing that you can get out of this. Um, don't forget to don't get distracted with technology. I know it can be very easy and very tempting, but keep your integrity with yourself and with God and just make sure that you're honoring him and praising him and whatever you do with technology. Remember, it's a double-edged sword. You can use it for good or bad. It's your choice. Yes. It's all up to you.